everybody. I'm Michelle Ford. I'm here at the Northeast Film Festival. I'm here with Shara Ashley Zeiger. So tell me a little bit about your film before we get started. So I Must Ash You is a silent physical comedy. It's very whimsical. It's about Abby Finkelmanstein, who is an agoraphobic, and she receives a love letter from her secret admirer asking her to meet them at the park, which sets her on a magical, realistic, whimsical journey through the city. And she finds something. Wow. And so uh, what was your role in the film? What wasn't my role in this film? <laughs> so I wrote it. I produced it. I directed it. And I am the only actor in my film. Wow. So many hats. So many hats. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the inspiration for the film. So it was inspired by a couple of different things. Um, one, uh, it was inspired by Buster Keaton. It was inspired by uh, Alice Guy Blachet and sort of the old style of movies and wanting to do something that harkens back to that, but making something something very modern and feels like it's mine and specifically to this time. Uh, it's also inspired by a little bit of a love letter to New York City. I had done a film called Joe a couple years ago that people seem to really love that was very much a New York love letter and this took that up a notch with the love. Um, I wanted to do something about self-love and that's a big theme in my film. Uh, and also I used to be on a replacement list for Cirque du Soleil. I used to do a lot of physical work and I don't have anything on camera about that and because it's mostly theater. And so I wanted to do something specific that spoke to those skill sets that uh, was a little different than anything else I'd made before. That was amazing. I was going to ask what was sort of the, the, the background or the inspiration for that sort of physicality in the film. So um, tell me a little bit about your background in that. Uh, well, I was a dance minor in college. Uh, I studied Balinese mask with a mask master for a while. I uh, used to do a lot of mask and comedia work. I uh, did a lot of Drosnin and Russian movement when I studied at the O'Neill. And uh, so that was a huge background of what I did. Um, but I did injure myself a long time ago. And so I didn't continue in a lot of that stuff. Uh, but it is very much a part of who I am. And being a plus size performer, uh, people don't automatically think of me as that kind of performer and so it was really fun to dive into those skills that some people don't know that I have. Wow amazing amazing story so would you say the inju injury is what sort of took you in the direction of filmmaking then? Uh, well I basically fell on my head and herniated a couple of discs in my neck and so my turnout and my uh, you know, yeah. my spins and things were not as uh, solid as they were. Um, and so I obviously I'm not a, in a physical theater company uh, doing that kind of work. Um, but I can do that work. And I was on a replacement list for a while to do that work in my own way. Um, and I love film. I'm, I'm primarily an actor in the world. And I work mostly in film and television these days. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think, wh where, does your, where does your heart lie? What's your real love? Do you think it's with film and television or sort of more with the live theater and the performing arts? Oh, film and TV. Yeah. I, I love theater because it's immediate and specific, but once it's gone, yeah. you ha it's, it's gone. It's ethereal and that's beautiful and sad both in the same way. Amen. What a, what a gorgeous statement. That's absolutely true. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about the film. So when did you start it? When did you, when did you write it? When did you start filming? What's been the journey of the film so far? So this film has been a long haul project uh, because it's so specific and it's so me. It's not really tied to a cause. It's not tied to a large cast. Um, people would call it very much a vanity project, although I hate that term these days anymore. Um, but I wrote it, I want to say about four years ago. Uh, then it went through uh, some screenwriting competitions and became finalists in different things that I was getting close to getting grants to make the thing. Got very close, didn't quite get them. Uh, but then I decided let's just kind of save to make the film. Um, and so I sort of did it in piecemeal that way. Um, shot it right before the pandemic happened. Then it was in the can, then it was like, okay, let's figure out when we're going to put it together. And then fortunately, all those artist grants that came to me during that height of the pandemic uh, and wonderful favors from people and people that all of a sudden had the time, uh, we were able to finish it remotely uh, between four states in post-production uh, during the height of isolation. And uh, we started on the circuit uh, last October uh, with St. Louis International Film Festival. And that was exciting because it's an Oscar qualifier. Um, and we just got into our 50th festival. Wow. Amazing. 
Thank it's you. been a crazy little journey. Congratulations. That's so awesome. Yeah, what a great journey. And what a great story for kind of, you know, pulling together after the pandemic, working remotely and kind of, you know, putting it together as best you can in this crazy world we live in. That's wonderful. I like it. So... That's all good. That's great. And so what's next for you after this one? Well, I'm auditioning. Uh, so as an actor, I'm available and looking for stuff. Um, I'm also a mom to a 14-month-old, so I have a lot of imaginative play. Uh, I have a regular gig playing Mother Duck every night at dinner. Uh, and I'm working on my feature. Uh, so I have a feature thriller uh, about uh, two women who go to an underground abortion clinic. Uh, so <laughs> it's a little timely. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking for producing partners and looking for uh, investors and stuff to help bring that to life. Yeah, good for you. Would you say, was that inspired by what's happening in the world today? Or what did that sort of come about before all the Roe v. Wade? And I have a bad habit of predicting the future yeah. in my work. Uh, so it started as a short that I wrote in 2016 and ran the circuit in 2017. Uh, started sort of penning the future in 2017. Been tweaking as life happened uh, and meeting my art and also life happening personally to me and meeting my art in different ways too. Yeah, yeah we've got to find that work-life balance and keep, keep it going even, you know, with, with, with family. So that's wonderful. You're such an inspiration. So talent, multi-talented. I, I, no, I love it. I love it. Just, I'm, I'm always just in awe of women who can do it all. You know, it's just very inspiring. So on a good face and that's how we do <laughs> that's wonderful um so tell me a little bit or we'll tell our audience a little bit about where they can find you and, and any more information about the film so i am very easy to find in the world because i am the only me so uh google shara ashley zyker so it's sarah with a sh um zyger z-e-i-g-e-r uh so shara ashley zyker.com is my website uh shara ashley z is me on every social platform uh, so find me there. And the film specifically, if you follow hashtag uh, I mustache you film, uh, you can kind of sort of see what's going on with the movie. Awesome. Awesome. And you said the next film is sort of more in the horror genre. Is that a, thr a thriller genre? Is that sort of where you feel your heart lies? Is that where you're heading in the future? Or? My films are in every weird, different genre and all over the place. This is my third time screening in this festival. I made a sort of a uh, psychological supernatural thing a couple years ago and then I made a rom-com and then I made a silent film and then yeah it's all all over the place I love that though it's good it's good to get your feet wet in all those different genres well thank you so much Sarah it was so nice to meet you best of luck to you I know you've kind of already been traveling this circuit but best of luck on your next project and best of congratulations for being a mom and and living that wonderful wonderful life um, it was a pleasure to meet you and to speak with you today so Thank you. <laughs>